the blue of the sea, the green of the mountains, the colors of early summer. Join us for a leisurely trip on local trains from Gunma Prefecture, located northwest of Tokyo, through to the Sea of Japan in Niigata Prefecture. We stop off to admire colorful sculpture created around 170 years ago. Social media is a buzz with photos of one lookout point that plays with colors and light. And we also find some traditional confections redrawn in pastel. Train crews through Gunma and Niigata to find your favorite colors in unexpected places. We start at Yokokawa Station. Looking down from the platform, you'll notice the tracks have been severed. In days of yore, they climbed up to the mountain pass. A special type of train once struggled up the steep incline. It used the app system of rack rails and cogs for wheels. The trains were too slow to cope with the increased freight and passengers, so the line was discontinued. The arched brick bridges and tunnels are evidence of the harsh conditions around Yokokawa Station. Out of Yokokawa, we head toward Takasaki, Gunma Prefecture's largest city. The train has four cars, and we seem to have the first all to ourselves. See that unusually formed mountain in the distance? That's Mount Myogi, one of Gunma Prefecture's major peaks.
Our first stop is Gumma Yawata Station. Darumaji is a Buddhist temple founded in 1697. The main hall is crowded with Dharma modeled on the founder of Zen Buddhism, Bodhidharma, known as Dharma Daishi in Japan. He secluded himself in a cave, meditating for nine years. The dolls are good luck charms for success and household safety. One devotee carved this likeness of the monk in a meditative pose. It inspired the temple's construction and later spurred the creation of the Dharma charms. Dharma Daishi no Furusato no Indo no Koromo, Koyo Hoe ga Akai ro datan desne. The Atama kara Supuri, Sono Koromo Kavute Zazen o Sare, Temo Ashimo Mina, Sono Koromo no Nakani Kakuste Zazen Sare tano de Kaodake de Teru Dharma san. そして周り十皆真っ赤っかのダルマさんというのがイメージされるようになったわけです。センシンテ stands on the temple grounds. This simple house of around 43 square meters was the temporary abode of a German architect. Bruno Taut left Hitler-controlled Germany in 1933 and took up a position teaching craft design at the Gunma Industrial Research Institute. He spent just over two years living in this house, and some of his works still survive. This green chair is one of them. He designed it and made prototypes with an eye to mass production. Takasakini どのくらい強度があるかというのを試しながら作ったようなんですね。それで折れた跡が残っておりまして、タウトは非常にこの自然の色というのを大切にしておりまして、毎日何時間かこの周辺を散策されたようです。そんな中で緑を目にする機会は
the Tone River flows 300 kilometers, making it Japan's second longest river. It has long been an indispensable water transport system. Way in the distance stands Mount Tanigawa, a favorite among mountaineers. Towering 1,977 meters, it presides over both Gunma and Niigata prefectures. We need to change trains here at Minakami Station. Our next ride has two cars. Our next stop is 70.7 .7 meters underground, and it is quite chilly here. Doai Station is so deep, it's affectionately referred to as Japan's deepest mole station by rail fans. Ten trains stop here per day on weekdays, and the number of daily passengers can sometimes be counted on two hands. We need to climb 462 stairs to get above ground. Up 300, 162 more to go. Ten minutes later, we finally arrive at the top. What a climb. The station is unmanned. Trains for Takasaki use the above ground platform, which was originally used by trains in both directions on the single track. Eventually, the underground line was added for trains bound north for Niigata. The old station office has been upcycled into a cafe. Mm -hmm. 
Bo Ki Yohe, who manages the cafe, belongs to a venture capital firm that creates new value by utilizing idle land in this depopulated area. When they opened the cafe, they also turned the vacant land next to the station into a glamping area. It's becoming a popular place to get away from the daily rush of urban life. Train fans love that the trains run past their tents. Now to continue our journey. Out of the tunnel and into Niigata Prefecture. In winter, over two meters of snow accumulates in Echigo Yuzawa, one of the heaviest snowfalls in Japan. Let's head to a spot you can enjoy no matter the season. You can feel the breath of nature in Kyoto Gorge. A tunnel was dug along the Kyoto River in 1996 for people to appreciate the gorgeous beauty. In 2018, the 750 meter long tunnel was upcycled into an art installation inspired by the Triennale Art Festival held in the area. The dynamism of nature spills over you at several lookouts throughout the tunnel. Magma flowed into the stratum five million years ago. It cooled and contracted to form columnar jointing. The highlight of the installation is at the end of the blue tunnel. The mirrored shaft, which includes a shallow pool of water, reflects the natural beauty outside.
んなね、景色をコロナ負けたんで、見せてあげれるなと。The tunnel has become one of the must see attractions in the region, drawing 200,000 visitors annually. We now turn north. Monks founded this Buddhist temple in are testament to the artist's skill. The roof sculpture depicts the legend of Buddhist monk Dogen, who transformed his staff into a dragon to vanquish a tiger. Sculptor Ishikawa Uncho, who lived in the 19th century and is referred to as the Michelangelo of Japan, was also talented in painting and design. More than 1,000 of his sculptures and paintings remain throughout Niigata Prefecture. ま、日本古来のものになりますね。当時は今のようにまあテレビであったりとか絵をあの人たちが見るって機会なかなかなかったと思いますので、うん、そういう人たちにとってまあして踊る中でもって愛しきさいのあるものを見れるっていうことはと
This sweet was inspired by the snowy mountains of Niigata and is made from rice flour and high quality sugar. It's been the shop's mainstay since its founding. Their latest focus is a pastel colored version of traditional jelly sweets called kohakuto that are crunchy on the outside. They add sugar and starch syrup to melted agar agar, then boil this down and add coloring. The mixture is left to cool overnight, then cut into shapes using molds and left to dry. Traditional confections are firm favorites of older customers and tea ceremony enthusiasts, but Kishi Yoshia wanted to expand their appeal to younger generations. His wife, who was busy with child rearing at the time, suggested a building block motif in pastels. Kishi also makes crayon shaped confections in soft colors. Both are hit products with younger customers. At Nagaoka Station, we change to the Shin Etsu line and head to Naoetsu. We take a local train to Naoetsu, and it takes around 90 minutes. This station offers travelers one of the best up-close views of the Sea of Japan. Now it's a station is the Shinetsu line terminus. A railway museum stands right beside the station. And one of the trains on display is quite rare.
This is a clearance car. The body has spikes that act as feelers to check the clearance around the tracks for safety. The car would run along new train lines before they opened to ensure trains would not encounter any obstructions. The interior is unique as well. The rods on the outside pierce through right into the car. When one of the 94 exterior rods strikes an obstruction, the corresponding lamp lights up on the panel. The car itself was manufactured in 1937 and it was used for various purposes before being upcycled into a clearance car. It was retired in 2004. Only two such cars exist in Japan. Shima Akiyoshi is in charge of preserving the trains. もともとは客車として使われていたんですけれども、ま、戦後、え、戦中時代ですか。その、ま、食堂車として改造されて、その後、ま、この、え、建設車として改造されて今に至るっていう感じなんですけれども。いろんなお客様に見てもらうために at Naoetsu, we changed to the Myoko Haneuma line run by the Echigo Tokimeki Railway. The train's color was inspired by the mountains. Takada, in the city of Joetsu, evolved after the construction of a castle four centuries ago. One museum conveys an interesting part of the area's history and culture. Takada was once home to many goze, or blind traveling female performers. Centuries ago, goze would travel in groups of three to local villages where entertainment was sparse.
the museum exhibits paintings depicting Goze. The intense red in each is striking. is Saito Shinichi. He commuted from Tokyo often to have deep discussions with Sugimoto Kikui, the last goze. Sugimoto カタットもんですから、斉藤真一はそれをま心で受け止めてですね、絵の中に赤色を使い出していた。その目が見えない人たちが300年400年以上前からですね、本当に自立をして誇りを持って生きてきたその生き方っていうものに感動するんですわ。
Ueno aspires to rebrand the theater as a cultural facility and community space, so he also rents it out and conducts tours.今でもこの舞台を使っていろんなショーとかライブとかやったりしてるんですけどやっぱり単なるステージじゃないっていう感じですかね赤いドンチョウみたいなのがあったりとかしてもともとの芝居小屋としてのやっぱり文脈もあった